The Federal Reserve ended their meeting on June 12th with the decision to not cut interest rates, which wasn't much of a surprise. What was more informative was the release of their quarterly economic projections, which gives us some insights into their thinking on any rate cut happening in 2024. In today's video, we're going to cover all the latest developments from the Fed meeting and what it means for mortgage rates and the housing market in the months ahead. Let's get into it. <laughs> As expected, the Federal Reserve did not cut interest rates at their latest meeting, but the report they released with their updated economic projections suggests we might only see one rate cut this year. That's right, the Fed might only cut their Fed funds rate one time this year, which is down from the expected three rate cuts markets were hoping for at the beginning of the year. In their summary of economic projections, the median projection of the Fed funds rate for the end of 2024 was 5.1, which is up from the median of 4.6 in March. The current rate is between 5.25% and 5.5%, so it would take one quarter point cut for that median projection of 5.1 to be in the the range, whereas before it would have taken three quarter point rate cuts to get the previous median of 4.6. You might be asking, why the change? It's not because of the economy. They seem to be pretty happy with that right now. Their median projection for GDP growth was 2.1% unchanged from March, and their median projection for the unemployment rate was 4% also unchanged from March. But when we look at their inflation projections, we can see where the problem is. The median for the personal consumption expenditure price index, their preferred measure of inflation, went up from 2.4 in March to 2.6 in the current report. The projection for core PCE, which excludes food and energy prices, also went up from 2.6 to 2.8. In my latest video on the economy, I made the case that a recession is not imminent at this point, and the Fed is looking at the same data I am. GDP and the labor market are both growing. Yes, there are some potential headwinds later this year, and not everyone is doing great, but the top level, national level data is pretty solid at this point. Without obvious weakness in the economy, the Fed is not going to cut rates to keep us out of a severe recession. Inflation is the big problem right now, and the upward revision in the Fed's projections reflects the lack of progress we've seen in the first half of this year. We did get another CPI report as the Fed was wrapping up their meeting, and it was lackluster at best. CPI inflation came in at 3.3% in May, which was down from 3.4% in April and 35 in March. While that trend is promising, the difference between 3.3 and 3.5 is marginal at best. In my last video on inflation and mortgage rates, I highlighted how the shelter portion of CPI is key to watch as it is a major component the Fed is keeping a close eye on. In the latest report, that measure came in at 5.4% in May, down from 5.5% in April. Not a big move down, but the trend remains favorable. Inflation for all other parts of CPI moved similarly, 2.1 in May compared to 2.2 in April. These aren't big downward moves, but it's what we want to see. The Fed wants to cut rates. They know if they leave rates this high for too long, it will hurt the economy. And they have a dual mandate, full employment in the labor market and price stability. The labor market isn't flashing any major warning signs right now, so it's the inflation piece that keeps them from cutting. They want to see the downward trend continue more. If they cut too soon, inflation could go up again. Their next meeting is at the end of July. We'll have one more CPI report come out before then. What will be key to watch is if the shelter and non-shelter components of CPI keep trending lower in that report, and by how much. I don't think the Fed will cut rates at their July meeting, but if we get a good CPI report next month, they might drop some hints that they are closer to cutting rates in the near future. After that will be their meeting on September 18th. There will be an additional two more CPI releases before that September meeting. If all three CPI reports between now and then come in favorably, I think a rate cut at that September meeting is definitely on the table. So what does this all mean for mortgage rates? 
In previous videos, I thought that a 5% rate on a 30-year fixed rate mortgage by the end of 2024 was definitely possible, but now I think that is less likely. We would have needed to see more progress on inflation by now and a change in the Fed's messaging. We're already halfway through 2024 and we're starting to run out of CPI releases and Fed meetings for this year. As of Thursday, June 13th, a 30-year fixed rate mortgage was at 6.95%. It's been stuck in a range between 6.6% and 7.2% as the bond market has been trying to figure out what the Fed will do. If we get a rate cut in September or if the Fed changes their messaging to say they are now ready to cut rates if the trends don't change, I think we could easily see mortgage rates go as low as 6% by the end of the year. For mortgage rates to go lower than 6%, we would need to see a lot of things go right. The monthly inflation reports would definitely need to keep showing a downward trend, and the Fed will also be releasing updates to their economic projections in September. If those projections change to show an additional rate cut this year, the bond market would have a big party sending treasury yields lower, which would bring mortgage rates down with them. It's a tall order and requires a lot of things to go just right. On the other hand, if the monthly inflation reports continue to show marginal progress and the labor market keeps humming along, the Fed is unlikely to change their tune and mortgage rates are unlikely to go below 6.5% before the end of the year. If you want to stay up to date on all the developments each month, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. I'll be releasing updates along the way to keep you informed and make sure you hit that notification bell down below so you won't miss those videos when they come out. The housing market is pretty much limping along at this point and what happens to mortgage rates in the second half of this year is the big factor for determining if we're going to see more of the same for home prices and sales or if activity is going to get a boost from lower rates. I'll keep you updated as all the new data comes out. If you've stuck around to this point in the video, do me a favor, hit that like button to support the channel and help it grow. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you in the next video.